Thank you very much. This is a tremendous honor in every way and a really wonderful moment to be here to celebrate all of you. So huge congratulations to you and to all the staff and the technical staff who I'm sure have played a part in supporting you and how your work actually ends up on the walls or wherever it does end up. Um, I think it's a wonderful moment. I know this is an extraordinary time to be leaving art school. And I feel when I was asked to make or say a few words, um, I was told, could I possibly give some advice? And my response to that was that I cannot possibly give advice. All of you can probably give me more advice than I can give you, and I'm sure of that. And I think that's one of the great things about new generations coming into the arts, is that you know more than we long in the tooth artists know. And that's the thing that really is exciting and, and tremendously encouraging about seeing new artists emerge and take the stage in every possible sense. Um, I'm very concerned of the huge uncertainty that awaits emerging artists, new artists at the moment with the recent Brexit. And it's going to take all my endeavor to not now go into a major rant. So I'll just try and <laughs> keep it to what is important. <laughs> But there's one thing I believe in so passionately is that culture in all its forms is the crucial thing that can cross boundaries financially, economically, politically, religiously, whatever it is. Culture, and it's a terrible word, I know, but in this case I'm going to use it just because it involves creative expression. And that means freedom of expression. And that is the thing that we have to hang on to. And that, I hope, is what you feel you have gained whilst being at art school. And that is what you can leave with, despite all the enormous uncertainties that await you. Um, I think cultural expansion away from insularity, the dread of insularity, is the thing that I cherish the most. I think when I was at art school, it was opening the doors to other cultures way beyond my own experience that was the thing that really thrilled and excited. And the thought that that might in any way be under threat is a kind of tragedy. But let's fight, for goodness sake, let's fight to keep that freedom of expression and cultural expansion continuously on the move and welcome all those students here who've come from further seas. You are such a valuable contribution to our culture in every possible way. So that's the main thrust of what I wanted to say as well. All I, also, I want to say that art schools if you read all the brochures, and this isn't meant to be a slight on <laughs> those brochures that art schools write, but the number of times they mention diversity and the courses abroad and everybody encourages experimentation and innovation and everything else. But for me, the most important thing is imagination. How we keep imagination alive and don't allow it to be hindered in any way by cruel political decisions or financial difficulties. Artists are innovative. They can make works the size of matchboxes or they make works the size of God knows what. And they can send works into outer space. It doesn't matter. They will find a way of making work. And that is the great, the great strength. And that is what imagination is. The world is your oyster. Take it by storm. Congratulations. <laughs>